Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. For the very first time ever, a vice president will speak at the March for Life in person. The New York Times says Mike Pence will be the highest ranking government official to speak in person at the pro-life rally. And right now, he is hosting pro-life leaders in his office. Correspondent Jason Calvi joins us from the White House. Jason. Lauren, Vice President Pence is meeting with those pro-life leaders right now. The list includes the president of the March for Life as well as Trump's pro-life chairwoman, Marjorie Dannenfelser. She says her message to the vice president tonight is very clear. Pro-lifers helped elect them into the White House. Now they want action. Just to put this into context, President Ray, Ronald Reagan back in 1984 waved to participants from a balcony at the White House. While he never attended himself, he did call in to greet pro-lifers. President George W. Bush also called in and supported the march, but also from afar. Last night, President Trump challenged the media for not covering the event. Reagan staffer Chuck Donovan says that's important. It's an extraordinary level of connection with the march, as was President Trump's mentioning of the march ahead of time. I don't think promotional activity like that, if you will, urging the media to give fair and balanced coverage has ever been a message emanating from the White House, much less from the president himself. So these are unprecedented things. National Right to Life President Carol Tobias says the extra media attention may mean more people will see what's been going on for over 40 years. They are going to see picture after picture after picture of young people, high school students, college students, um, young families bringing their little kids, it just, it's a sign of hope and optimism. This battle isn't going to end because we have so many young people that are coming forward and saying, I am going to make a stand for life. Today, National Right to Life released their annual report on abortion. It shows that for the first time since 1974, the number of abortions has shrunk to less than a million in 2014. And because the vice president will be speaking at the March for Life rally, security will be very tight. If you're going, do not bring backpacks, coolers, uh, selfie sticks. All of these things are banned. And you'll have to also go through airport style security to get into the rally. Lauren. Jason, what is Mike Pence's previous connection to the pro-life cause? Well, Mike Pence, when he was a member of Congress, pioneered the effort to defund Planned Parenthood. He also attended the marches in his 12 years in Congress. And I spoke earlier today with one of the co-founders of the March for Life, Dee Becker, and she says Mike Pence did a lot to recruit other lawmakers to attend the annual march. Other than the vice president, who can we expect to be speaking? We're going to also hear from... Trump's, uh, President Trump's counselor, Kellyanne Conway, a, a, a pro-lifer who we've heard from many times on this program. Also speaking is New York Cardinal Timothy Dolan. All right, Jason Calvi reporting from the White House. Thank you, Jason.